It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Number one, the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement, Reverend Joseph Lowry, died Friday at the age of 98 of natural causes. This minister from the South fought the segregated South and worked side by side with Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. from the year-long Montgomery bus boycott to the creation of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and beyond. Let all those who have experienced justice and mercy as a result of the good works of Reverend Joseph Lowry say, thank you, sir. Number two, this weekend saw a dramatic spike in coronavirus infections all over the United States. Dr. Anthony Fauci of the administration's Coronavirus Task Force issued a grim warning as the U.S. death toll from the pandemic exceeded 2,300 over the weekend. In response to the growing number of cases in the United States, Donald Trump has extended social distancing guidelines to April 30th. Number three, Friday, Donald Trump signed the much-needed bill to help Americans hit by the devastating coronavirus pandemic. The Congressional Black Caucus fought for and achieved proposals that would ensure that millions of African-American families, individuals, small businesses, and their employees were included in the stimulus bill. Their reach extended to other areas, including health care and assistance to historically black colleges and universities. A definite date for issuing the checks has not been announced. Number four, last Monday, the United state Supreme Court ruled in favor of Comcast in a $20 billion racial discrimination case filed by Entertainment Studios founder Byron Allen. Allen claimed that Comcast refused to enter into an agreement to carry a group of cable channels owned by Allen's Entertainment Studios because the company is black owned. Regardless of whether you know the significance of the Supreme Court's decision, it is important to follow and track the interpretation and application of civil rights laws that were enacted to protect black people. Number five, Tracy Scott is a black woman who is on the battlefield to ensure that black women are recognized and accounted for in our society. While most of the news is dominated by the coronavirus, she's keeping our eyes on the prize through her Black Women's Pack newsletter. Tracy, we salute you and ask that you keep us honest, keep us informed, and keep us focused on those issues that will affect our lives. Happy Women's History Month. And here's a bonus. On behalf of the What You Need to Know news team, I would like to send out a special thanks to all the first responders. We can't thank you enough. Your courageous and dedicated commitment to keeping us safe and well is forever in our hearts. And to my cousin Candy and the many people who have called, emailed, texted, and Facebooked with concerns about my best friend and executive producer's husband, Ward White, (sighs) he tested negative for coronavirus. Thank you, God. And again, thanks for your thoughts and prayers. Stay safe. Stay connected. Visit blackamericaweb.com to subscribe to my free daily newsletter featuring these top stories and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Be informed, be empowered.